for that. Here we are at the beginning of the Hit Woolsey Dana Nazarian match, round of 16. Undefeated bracket. What did you say? Dana, fresh off of a really great win, long match over John O'Hagan and Kit beat Sam Mogman in an even longer match. That match uh, was close to three hours. Dana and John only played two hours and 45 minutes. So here we go. Two uh, big-name elite players. So this, uh, this should be exciting. What's your score? I'm looking at the streaming, I said... That doesn't look good. Now these guys, both guys are from the Bay Area. Know each other well. It's going to take the forward anchor. I'm sorry. Legends here, huh? Yeah, both from the same neighborhood as well. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, they know each other. Yeah. They're familiar. They're familiar. Okay, Kit's going to play this 6 1. Now, Kit, been around forever and is a member of both the. Uh, American Backgammon Hall of Fame and the uh, Bridge Hall of Fame. So, uh, a great, accomplished uh, games player. Two different, uh, two different genres. started uh, talking earlier before I took my little break that dinner break here is at 5 p.m. It's currently a little after one, so roughly four hours. So uh, let's see how long this match takes. Maybe uh, the last match on the stream one before the dinner break. Maybe uh, more time for a second, uh, another match on stream two. Ted Bell, Bell's rule. Not sure what they're Always double when you have both five talking players. about here. Sounds like a stupid rule. Y'all can perhaps hear the table mics. Uh, I can't. I don't know. It's letting, uh, contemplating cubing this. But uh, can't decide that he should. Decides that he will. Dana takes. We play on. Five two. Not at all what Kid had in mind. Dan doesn't have much flexibility in bringing all these guys home off the mid, but. Right, wow, Edward Ani said Kit has a actual Wikipedia page. This is something, uh, do we all strive for such? Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Actually, I have to count here. That's a pain in the ass. Hmm. 
what Kit's, uh, he's trying to decide. He wants to know what the count is. Should he maybe make a jailbreak here with one of those rear checkers and decides against it? <laughs> you know, will excuse my uh, occasional snacking here. The life of a single commentator over a long match is not an easy one. Do you want to say anything? No. No? Aaron Faust sitting at the front row here. A seat. The Euchre seat. Greatest show on earth. <laughs> All right. So, uh, all the decisions so far has been, for the most part, on uh, Kit's side of the table. He's gone through a couple of minutes already, and Dana's hardly, hardly broke the clock. Sixty-five, eighty-one, ninety-nine, one hundred four, eight, eleven, fifteen for white. Nine crossovers too. So. I need more. Two. Make the three, maybe. Move to the bar. So the fours moves a lot of freight. That's good. Kit's going to have five crossovers remaining to Dana's nine to get in board. Well, Dana's uh, rolling some nice numbers himself. It's actually pretty close. It's all on those four, five, six points. Dana's got uh, more outside, but he's got he's deeper inside as well. Okay, Aaron Faust in the building. See if Dana can bring you this one. You won uh, last year sometime. You won the intermediate. Now you're playing up in just the open. Just before huh? COVID, yeah, just before COVID hit. Intermediate champ. Oh, to 20. I don't know if you claim it, but you you taught Ray everything you know. Everything Ray knows. Two six from the bar was mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ray showed me a few things over the years. I am. Dana's going to need some help here, and that is a good start That's, uh, <laughs> on demand. Hmm. Got us a oh, Whoa, and uh, it's a good, back uh, to being down again. A good return, like pouring a birdie putt on top yeah, of them. Another birdie getting pretty putt. close. It's real close. Yeah, that was a big six. Oh, he gets two here as well. Uh, who, he might start to think guys, about man? it. He might. Oh, it's still feeling. I don't know. Kit could have had one there, but who are these guys rolling like this? Uh oh, that's a double, double that's miss. That's a direct miss. Thank you. Kit's still not doubling. Oh, do oh, I see. The cube's already in play, Bill. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me know anytime. Okay. He likely will have a shake at it. Only down one. Huh? Fours, fives, and sixes. 
Boom. That ain't gonna work. That hurts. That'll do it. Hmm. Kit kept up. Dana rolled doubles. Kit rolled doubles. Yeah. So, uh, 2 0 Kit. Kit. Did he finish his birthday cake over there? No. Classic. What you need? You're in the 20 section. The, what store? Oh, it's just a little. Oh, the one in here. Yeah, that'd be good. Thank you. There's Actually, a it's, a, store pretty close it's a Pepsi uh, concession here, but I'll drink that, you know? The second choice is Pepsi for Bill Riles. Big Coke okay. fan. Okay, look here. Kit done got another early got advantage. another quickie. Dana says no thank you. We'll move on. Three zero Big down. Three zeros. Three zero. Quite adequate. I don't want it any worse. Than that. No problem. He's happy. It destroyed me in the first round. Uh, yeah. Never a shot. Nice, never, nice, never uh, a shot. Nice draw, you got. He had an easy. He had it easy. Uh, never a sweat. So far, not much of a sweat in this one either. <laughs> so, um, you're saying you're just as good as Dana so far? Pretty much. Nah. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, Dana, I have always appreciated Dana's game. He is very strong. I'll take him. I'll take any Dana day. about almost anybody. <laughs> any, any day of the week. You know, and he's been playing great. He in Texas, he uh, he lost in the finals of the UBC tournament to Ryan Rebello. He won the uh, Masters, okay. which in uh, in Texas we had forty eight in the Masters. In the Masters, forty eight. Uh -huh. That's a well, lot. They only had sixteen here. Yeah, we had forty eight. Yours is cheaper. Uh, marginally Yours is six. Right. Yeah, instead of a grand, it was six. Yeah. 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 And price point's a pretty big determining factor there, probably. But it's still a factor of three. That's a pretty good factor. <laughs> well, you know I've always appreciated the Texas tournament. One of the best. One of the best. We've been fortunate. A lot of support. A lot of good people. Yeah, so he's gonna okay. clean it up a little, right? Make a couple points, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And he has the forward anchor, so he's he's kind of in the <laughs> in the game for the long yeah. haul. Four point. Yeah. Didn't really like to do that, but he didn't like his alternatives either. Instead of threes, make the five point. You know, it's funny, a lot of these guys, and I play too quickly, but, I mean, these elite players like Dana, Kit, both, and others, I mean, they see all the possibilities that we see right out of the gate. Well, take their time. But they take their time and 100 uh, make sure they're not overlooking any of them yeah. and to kind of evaluate all of them in a comparative basis. Yeah. Uh, it's a I good mean, point. They, they see them just as soon as we do. But, as fast uh, as everyone react, else. We react more. We quickly. do it. Yeah, and they think about it, then do it. Right, just, just to make, make sure. sure they don't overlook something. Uh, totally agree. It's exactly when I played kids. Exactly what he did on every roll. Yeah, 
I knew he was going to make that. But he took his time just yeah. to make sure he's getting it right. Doesn't miss anything, which we all do. We all do. All miss. You know, and, and another thing, and, and, you know, I try to address the wide range of people that might be viewing these things, you know? Sure. Another thing that uh, a lot of people do and that you'll see the elite players uh, differentiate themselves, like with doublets, they'll typically play checkers individually. One by one? One by one, rather than playing them as pairs. So they know. You, yeah, because sometimes if you're, if you're thinking playing them in pairs, yeah, you're overlooking some of the permutations that uh, might be available to you. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do the same thing when I roll like a six five. I don't just look at it as six five. I, I say, hey, this is a five six as well. Yeah, exactly. And, and, that, and you easy, might see a play easy to do sometimes. Yeah, to, and to overlook in that. You always regard. do six five six five. You might miss the the five, five six yeah. six. That's much better. And Dana has found himself behind a five prime here. But Kit's stripped all the way around. So he's uh in this got to You trying to do? turn it off? I'll be right back. Okay, no sweat. Okay, so we got kind of a standoff of uh, strip points here. Buying for the open is uh, 500 bucks, I believe. I've got one of the brochures right here. Yeah, it's 500 bucks entry. It's 250 re entry where you lose in your first round. You could rebuy and start over for 250. I think they had 55, uh, 55 in the main and 27 in rebuys, so 82 entrants in that regard. You can, and that's what, 55 times 5 is 27, 5, 5 27, 6, about a $30,000 prize pool. Okay. Kids kind of in a. Ooh, that hurts. Nice wasted double six. <laughs> it's good news, bad news. One, you don't have to uh, perhaps leave a blot over here with a five and a half point board by Dan, but you don't get the benefit of that double six either. Four one, kind of an ugly roll. Can't make the one point that uh, he needed to. Now Dana, two three is not his best. What does he do? Maybe he makes the three and takes one of those to uh, to the mid. Makes it easier to perhaps clear one next roll. And then Kit does have a blot in his home board and only a four point board. So that's, uh, I'd be thinking that. Dana's counting. But uh, what's he got? 
56 and 39, 95 for White. Pitch got 33, 30, 69, 73, 77, 80. So uh, Dane is behind. He's going to have to play like this. Hopes Kit rolls a 6X. He doesn't. And he make that point, make that. Now Dana's uh, Yeah, that was interesting uh, match, Tim. Uh, Dana was up 13-4. They got it back. That's Kit's second set of sixes in this position. 3-1, uh, Dana. But uh, Dana was up 13-4. John gets it back 13-10. Looks like John is going to win a gammon two cube to go up 14-13. Has a five-point board with the fours open. And a blot in Dana's home board. Dana rolls double fours from the bar, which brings them both in against the five-point board and points on uh, John's blot and Dana's home board, and he brings it home and wins 15-10. So it was just one of the massive super jokers that uh, we'll see this weekend. Okay. Kit's way we're heading to the race, takes this, and Dana direct miss. Can't give the shot. Now does Kit send this back? Very possibly. Well ahead. Even if he were to not be able to clear it and gets hit, Dana has only a four point board. So what's our count here? 24, 48, 74 for White. 16, 17, 49, 59, 75, 75, 74. Doesn't work too well. Kid <laughs> coming. But uh, <laughs> Dana's thinking the same thing. Like, what in the hell is going on here? Misses a double shot twice. Kit said, I've seen enough of this. You missed the exciting part. He always does. Why? He doubled you and missed uh -huh. it. Twice. Twice. Oh, this was the craziest sequence you've ever seen. Kid had a two on the 18. <laughs> Rolled double six twice and double five once. Couldn't play any of them. Oh, I know that. But I told you the other day. Well, I had to go up the room. Dana lets it go. I was once told that a man that does not want to hit does not want to win. 28 hitting runners? Both times. Thank you. Okay, so uh, five zero hit. Not somebody you want to spot a lot of points to. So Dana's going to uh, try to reverse this train. There we go. Dueling six fives. Brings us back to an even position. Kit runs a 6 2. Set of fives going to the three. 12 pip lead. Dana now is four. Dana's got a number of hitters, but he doesn't do it. So he's going to slide to five and go to the nine. No, he's playing two down. I have two, two down for Kit. I have four as a hitter.
Okay, so two four. So Kit's gonna play it this way. Dana sends it. He got a raising advantage. Probably can clear that last checker. Maybe clean up the uh, the blots. Kit's got one back, trap back. Uh, um, lets it go. Five one. Kit. I didn't think it did. It was just double checking. Six five. That's a, a runner. Probably go to the mid. Could go to the eleven, but with the back checker split, it gives that many more returns. But there he goes. We're gonna have to send you back to grade school. What? I thought we were gonna have to send you back to grade school. And there he gets hit. One of those returns. Yeah, the six five. Yeah, oh, I think they're pretty close. I think so too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? In that particular round, it was close. Yeah. Usually it's not. Usually it's not. No, the fact that you split and the whole the effect as we know about. Or two, pointing. Three six, so he's gonna come out with one of those. Don't wanna add any more blots to the equation. Dana may uh get a frisky perspective here. It's with fours and fives. I wouldn't uh, be at all surprised to see him send this. If he sent the last one, I think he'll send this one. Dana's counting. Well, he kind of set his fingers down in his lap. He probably uh, has some method of keeping uh, track of the first number he counts while he counts the second. Well, we try a Tim, and and I'm uh, I've got it comparatively easy. Tar does all this production work, and uh, the setup is just amazing. So uh, she's kind of behind the scenes. Probably has a more difficult job than I do. Okay, Kit says I'm going to play this. Again, we weren't terribly surprised that Dana sent sent it. And now he's going to be uh, full speed ahead. Again, a poor roll. Now, this hit play to the 7 or play to the 18. Eighteen, it is. Now Dana, full full blitz mode. Could put them both up. Which is the definition of a blitz. And three. 
Brings them both in and one of them hitting. So that was as good as he could do pretty much. 5-2 by Dana. Makes that. So this is a bit of a hitting exchange in progress. 3-1. He's going to cover and hit. Dana would like to hit and make that bar point. Certainly just can't quite do it. That's what I was thinking. You want B or C right now? I don't know. Well, or one, he can uh, enter and hit. Gives Dana that uh, chance to work on the uh, the bar again. Four. Well, this hitting exchange is uh, fairly extended in this particular game. At some point, one of them is going to have to call it off and start uh, trying to do something constructive uh, structure-wise, but it's not going to be Dana on this roll. Three, five. It's going to be Kit here. Make that. Now his choice of threes. Probably going to be the 10 because he doesn't want to, to go deeper. 6-3. Now Dana, he's got several options, but uh, I don't know. The temptation, I'd be really seriously tempted to make the bar here, but he can't. You can't do this and make the bar. You're going to lift. O'Hagan walking around. Are they on break or did that match finish quickly? Justifying your last play. Hey. doesn't work, so I'll try diversification. Works much better. <laughs> Still trying to each of them seize the advantage, maybe get a dance out of one or the other at some point. But nobody has uh, accommodated the other. It's just... Uh, Really an extended hitting campaign by both. I knew this was going to be an 80 roll game. I probably wouldn't have doubled <laughs> roll four. That's the fifth time I've done that in two days. Picking up on some scores and otherwise here. <clears throat> and this is uh, an interesting extended. Uh, it just, you know, most games after three or four or five rolls, they kind of settle into, a, you know, one of many patterns we might see in backgammon, but this one is just uh, having difficulty settling into one of the one of the grooves. Is that it? 
abilities. On the horizon. Really different play. Rain Man, they they do have a uh, a tournament in Michigan. It's in Novi, which is a suburb of uh, Detroit, and it occurs over July Fourth weekend each year. You can uh, check into that. Uh, go to Flint FlintBG.com or FlintBG.org is uh, Carol Joy Cole's uh, website, and she's the director of the uh, Novi tournament. But it's 4th of July weekend every year. has been going on for 40 years. One of the larger tournaments in the United States. I think the largest nowadays are uh, this year probably. New York was... Uh, New York and Texas are the biggest. Flint's not far behind. Okay, still uh, still an interesting game here. Set of fives, uh, so that's going to, I think that's the second one in three or four rolls there for Kit. So that's going to move a lot of freight and uh, give some better definition to this particular game. Obviously, the checker on the ace, the 24, from Kit's perspective, doesn't, can't move. But he played one to make the point. He, I guess, I think he has three left, and there they are. It goes to the eight. Okay. Dana'd like to make that three point, and he does. Then it's a matter of which two he plays beyond that. Eight, six, it is. Dana's turned. That's a nice shake. Double nickels putting two in the air, making a four point board. Probably uh, adding some uh, serious credibility to that two cube he had sent earlier. So Dana could uh, worry to be fortunate. Could bring this match back to even kit with the forward anchor uh, not as likely that Dana might uh, gain him than were it uh, you know, a deeper anchor or not an anchor Dana needs to uh, Uh -huh. and play with one blot. Didn't dupe anything. It is a lot of fun, Rain Man, and uh, if you're in Michigan, uh, the Michigan Summer Championships, which is the actual title, I guess, of the Novi tournament, is uh, one of the biggest and, uh, you know, best attended and longest standing. A lot of fun. So uh, check them out.
Ooh, pardon me. Hey, Dana can hit and move on. So now. Contemplating his options, he could put them both on a six, but that's ugly, inflexible. He wants to try to, you know, minimize the shots, but maintain a fair amount of flexibility as well. This play seems to have provided him that opportunity. It's four. Now only the five deuce hits him doesn't so he hopes to clean it up here that won't work to take that in I would think all the way hmm, pardon me oh, okay Okay, so Dana needs to get this checker home, and he can't. So if Kid can roll a three, it's going to swing this particular game. He cannot. So now he's going to play the nine and the seven, I suspect. Dana gets that, uh, that checker home, starts bearing off. Must have been meant to be a 6-4. He cocked a 6-4 and then uh, re-rolled a 6-4. 5-3 is going to clear it, so he should be able just to bring home a two-pointer here. Kit should be able to clear this or save this. I heard that term last night, uh, Tim, I guess, uh, Steve Sachs was talking about how's the missus. So well, that's, uh, that was cute. Okay. Trying to figure out which ace to play. And Dana could roll two sets and make this interesting. Didn't get the first, so it's still a minimum of two rolls. Dana plays in. Okay. Five doublets to get him off. Does Kit save the G? He does. So it's 5-3, uh, and looks like uh, they're going to take a little break here. Tremendous amount of strategy, Rain Man, and what you might, uh, beyond watching this, 
you know, what's really become prominent in backgammon is the use of uh, computer programs to study, analyze, play against, whatever. The most widely popular by far is a program called Extreme Gammon. Um, relatively inexpensive. I think retail, you can buy it for 50 bucks online. <clears throat> if you remember USB Jeff for some of their organizations, you can get it for 40 or thereabouts, a bit of a discounted price. But that is um, a requisite almost to a serious backgammon player to um, study and analyze positions, to analyze matches in their entirety, to, um, you know, to even play against. And it's interesting, uh, you know, a lot of people, and, and it's a mistake, I think, a lot of people, when they play against XG, which is what X, uh, Extreme Game is called, XG. Some people will play against XG. They play against it with it cranked up all the way. So it's playing absolutely perfectly. Well, you're never going to play a human that plays that well. So you can develop some bad habits by, uh, you know, every every cube XG, XG's ever sent you cranked up high is a take because they're going to be perfectly efficient cubes. So they will almost without exception always be a take and that kind of you know people develop the habit of you know <laughs> every double's a take according to xg well it is if it's a perfectly timed cube but you're not getting perfectly timed cubes from human opponents so you have to uh, recognize uh, some of the differences and limitations and what have you of, of what you're doing and um, so scale it back somewhat. You know, you can set the level of play or the level that XG plays, and you might set it to something more uh, approximating a, a human level as opposed to, uh, you know, the, the level of perfection that can be achieved uh, on the program. Okay, so here we are. We are post-Crawford. We're taking a look in on the Mays Petrosi and Alfredo Unis match while uh, Kit and Dana take a break here. 14 11 post Crawford for Mays Petrosian. And then a pretty good shape here if he can roll a three or a five and get out. There's the five, but doesn't have a two. He has to break. Unis needs a five. Unis does not get a five, but he can hit the. Checker on uh, on the bar back here, a dance, and this could go south real quickly. Yep, there's the five point. Boom, uh, two four. That uh, that helps. Four two. He's gonna hit. They're both playing like they got uh, planes to catch. Six five. Boom. Yeah, it's like they're hearing that final boarding flight 2386. Can't play fast enough. And I'll assure you, uh, some people, and I'm one of them, I'm probably as guilty as many, play fast, play too fast probably. But I will guarantee you, if you slow down and look at things a little bit closer, make sure you're not overlooking things, make sure you've looked at all the various permutations, you're going to play better. Okay. Okay, so here we are, 5-3 kit. 15-point matches are real endurance contests. It's a grind. Again, they're probably looking at two-and-a-half, three-hour match here.
five four in that circumstance is rather awkward. Dana finds that play, gets hit. Never the one you expect to get hit. It's always by the trailer or the some awkward position. I'm gonna make the deuce. Doesn't like that have a point that deep, but kind of developed that way. Now he's gonna make two points, putting two in the air. And uh, Dana very well may be looking at a cube on the next roll. There it comes. Dana's taking this. Doesn't necessarily like it, but you always don't have to like it. You just have to do it. Let's it go though. Six three. You know, and I and I thought this would have if you happened to have watched Ray Fogerland's live stream lecture last night, that was worth the price of admission, which was zero. But uh yeah, you know, among the many things he 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 you know, threw a few axioms out. He he made some good points and we could all learn something from it. Plus Ray's extremely entertaining in his presentations, but you know, one thing that was in line with some of the things he said last night is an adage that I use sometimes with uh, people, perhaps I'm uh, giving some lessons to or helping them in some one fashion or another is, uh, you know, with backgammon, like many games, uh, you can't be afraid to lose, but also you can't be afraid to win. <laughs> you know, there, are, there are risk that have to be taken on occasionally. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Again, don't let fear paralyze you to the point that you, you know, you're afraid, you're afraid to lose. But by the same token, don't let it paralyze you where you're afraid to, you know, to make the moves and take the opportunities to enhance your opportunities to win. Rain Man, the, the doubling cube actually introduces incredible levels of complexity in, to, the, to the game. It's great for the game, but it's, um, you know, it's just, uh, I see you're uh, prepared for your streamed match tonight with the, the bright shirt, you know. I told, I told people that uh, you and uh, who are you playing, Brandon, are going to be on the stream tonight, and that I would suggest they wear shades. You know, <laughs> I, I would suggest they wear shades. You know, to. I changed it. Has to be very lucky to me. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a neat, pretty bright one. Okay, so a dance, so Dana trailing, but doesn't quite have it yet, but he he's, has the advantage. Oh, really? Okay, there's Kit. Now, what does he do with all these twos? He entered. He can uh, step up to have the forward anchor, which is probably what he's going to do, and then play to the 11 point. He could make the four point, but I think at this juncture, the, um, the forward anchor may be more important with Dana already having uh, a number of builders Bearing on that four point kit just uses all three of them to to make the forward anchor. Set of fours.
Oh, really? Yeah. Now, are you still president of the UKBGF? Okay. I was mentioning that. I was mentioning that last night, and I wasn't certain. Huh? No, I'm not supporting that. Ah, okay. Well, you, uh, we'll clean it up. you, you, uh, phobic there or something? I don't know. I just want to, I just want to make sure you're making yourself comfortable, you know? One more before dinner on the other one. Yeah, I'm captured. Is it over? Okay, Dana's sending that kit. Had already evaluated and scoops it right up. Ooh, set of fives. That's smart. Pretty good is right. Hits two, makes another point. No, he doesn't. And that's three to there. So he only had one more. Okay, four one. So uh, six four. So he's going to cover the, make the deuce point, find the four. He could make the deuce point and find the six, but I think it's going to be this. Yeah. Aces. So now Dana would like to make that three point. Boom. Makes that three point. I think you're going to find anything better than that, Dan. No way you're finding something better than that. His only exposure is double four. So, um, oh, so close. Okay, so Dana's got to get these boys home, so he's going to the five and the deuce here. He, he, can't, he can't pay now and leave two blots. Four, three. He's going to go five and two. Don't be tempted to leave two blots out there. Okay. So now Kit needs to do something constructive over there on his home board. And that's uh, that would come into that category. 5-1. Dana can't. Yeah, he would leave one blot, but he, 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 he hasn't rolled anything yet that leaves anything other than two blots. Did they finish? Okay, so this time Dana can roll. Can escape one. Interesting dupes the fours and threes, but two blocks might be a bit much here. That's 20 numbers, and the other way it's only, was it, nines? Six, three, five, five. It's 16 numbers, 16 numbers the other way. Oh, yeah, threes, yeah. So uh, four less numbers just to take that on into the deuce. 13 if he uh, goes to the deuce, and 20 if he doesn't. Okay, on stream two, Alfredo Unis come from way down to uh, to beat Mace Petrosian. So Dana plays really Give me in here. Give me, he faded it. Did you turn me on? I turned you on. Man. Oh, thanks, Bill. 
<laughs> You're good at that. Oh, sorry, Ted. Hey, both my hands. Look at this. Top he of the he table, plays man. it big here with the uh, seven and eight slot and gets away. Cleans, okay, clean, cool. clean. Look at him. That'd Look at him go. And Gammon is on the Alfredo. table again after that. <laughs> okay, so Dana Eight. made the big play, got away with the big play, and uh, now Kit's going to be fighting to uh, save a G here. Gives him the 20 shots to 13 shots, gets away with it, and here we are. Oh, it was 16 shots. 20 16, to 16. 16 and 20. That was 13 and 20. No. 16 and 20. Yes. Yeah, he had to, not that bad of a risk there. Uh, and then you see where we're at. Oh, no. He, of course, up. finds the ace. Wow. After all his Kid hard work. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. Baby. And he plays perfect. And here we are That's back on the bar. Right? That's why we wow. love the game. <laughs> Do everything right. Everything right. And, and it's wrong. <laughs> Get it wrong. <laughs> Hate life now. Wow. What a swing that was on the... Whew. He's on his way to being in the lead. Now he's looking down the barrel now of an 8-3. Now he's looking down the 8-3 barrel, as you say. And this, I mean, this is going to be interesting. 3-1. I'm kid. I'm... I don't know. This is attack. Send it, and I'd be attack. tempted oh. to send it, but... Does, uh, does anybody get reaches? there? That guy that gets reaches. there from way back. And then go to the, maybe go to the five. Don't give him any double hitters. Five seems right, yeah. And you've got all the outfield Cover. control coverage. Ace four. So mm, now, now I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Although the has got what? Three off, four off? Just three, I think. Yeah, three. Five, 11, 12, three off. Might have might have got a uh, double take there, but Kit chooses to wait. Now, now he might get a I'm pass. I, I, I would have sent it on the last one. I think. I, I think I agree with you, but I'm definitely sending it here. Kit waited, and Dana has checkers off, so there's no G, right? No so gammon. Just... No, no free rolls here. There we go. There it is. Dana, Dana looks Dana's like a pass. Score yep. that one. Score that and be happy. That's a big swing. Big that's, swing that's four on point the shot. Swing, a right? huge swing, swing on the shot. Yep. Or maybe even a six point swing. Could have been. Dana, Dana was looking. Four. Dana was looking at a gammon. Two, so looking at a gammon. Six point swing. That's huge. Huge. And Dana. Dana might be tilted now. Looks a little upset, but. He'll grab his composure. I, I like that. That's pretty deep, Tim. I, I like that quote. How do you like this? Luck is just a short-term glimpse of probability's mm -hmm. never-ending quest right? to reach expected outcomes. Wow. That's deep, man. I mean, if you're going to put a definition on it, there it is. <laughs> We're in. We're in, man. Come on in, Ray Aaron, Aaron said I could quit using these uh, amateur commentators like yourself and and bring him in you know step up to the guy with a voice made for radio hey you know what <laughs> this is a big match this dana nazarian and kent woolsey because the winner gets to play me oh ho, ho. Right? <laughs> i hope i get the comment on that one yeah, and that might not be the tomorrow you know that no it is the i think that Later match tonight Playing no, play the Masters tonight. Dana's the playing in the Masters tonight. No, Dana and I both lost oh, last night. Both lost, so it, it could be tonight, tonight then. Probably the, but, tonight. But that ideally, is. the Masters. Ideally, the regular aren't tonight. Yeah, the yeah. Masters are tonight. That's a money round match, um, and uh, oh, I think it it's saying that ten to mor ten o'clock tomorrow morning. Ten a.m. Saturday is yeah. the match after that. Ah. Okay. What's oh, so? Who's so winning then? Tonight. Oh, kids up. Eight just to three. A, oh, you just, just missed a huge, doozy. <laughs> huge bad swing for Dana. Look Big like swing. Win four and he loses two. Big swing on his way to a seven to six lead. Yeah, two it's, to clear. It's, that's rolled, a lot of equity to swing. Instead, and Kit rolls an ace. And oh man, it was it was Boom. a big swing. 
Yeah, I never do that. No, nah, no one does those. <laughs> but uh, we've seen and we know Dana is a grinder. Oh, my he God. Is. He's been grinding. I bet he's got less time on his clock. Right now he's grinding his teeth after that last yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> he's grinding up some herbs yeah. to put on his voodoo doll. Something. Now, how about this, Ray? Somebody. Okay. We'll blow Ray's mind with his deep. I don't know if Ray's ready for that, but I think you should see what he says. Hey, wait. Yeah, said, Luck is just a short term glimpse of probability's never ending quest to reach expected outcomes. What, what do you think about that? I think Art Benjamin probably wrote that somewhere. <laughs> That's, that could be a mathematician quote. Uh, it easily could be. <laughs> He doesn't go to the five there. I thought maybe another builder would help, but he steps up for a double shot. And here he is, ready to fire away. Might be a good time for a cube. You gotta look You're down, down eight to walk, three. You know? If you if you gotta have a if, good excuse, not I, to I think I'm shipping one. this one, and he does not. He could pick up two, and he will. Okay. Think I think I'm firing away there with the cube. But that was some hell of a discipline by Dana not sending it there. Yeah, interesting no cube, I thought. But, but oh. here it comes. And there he gets hit on the bar, then shit. on the bar or not. Hey, Dana just said to Kit, hey, do you like apples? And Kit said, yeah. And Dana asked him, how do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> I think he... He uh, may have taken the last one. Well, he may take this one. He but. might take this one, but I see him smiling, and my, my read is he's passing. He fixed his biggest. He fixed Dana's biggest problem, which was the blot on the ace point. She True. Makes, uh, yep. I, I don't doubt that he may pass this, but he's also he hates to pass with. Dana What's there. Dana they're saying to the camera? On the camera. Saying they're something. Talking to the camera. We can't hear you, Dana. Can hear the, the viewers can hear the. Oh, the viewers camera. can hear Dana? Oh. Yeah. Wonder what he said there. Well, you know, da uh, what Ray's saying. Kent really likes to have an ongoing you know, dialogue with his opponents. He has a lot of fun. He, he just enjoys the game. And he doesn't it's seem a, to be. Uh, 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 as predicted. Oh, he hates as to predicted. let one go like this with Dana in the air. Yes. In the on the bar, they're on both the on the bar. Yes, but. I'm playing the winner of this one. Apparently, I think it was a good pass. I think Dana might have got a take on the roll earlier too, but who knows? Uh, Y'all probably recognize and know. I'm joined here on my left. Kind of reverse on the image. On my left is uh, Mr. Ray Fogerland. And on my right, Aaron Faust, the gentleman who taught Ray everything he knows. That's According, not that's true. That's what Aaron told me. Not that's true. Right? Okay. <laughs> not well, true. Now, you know, you got to get some dark hair at the mic sometimes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> we brought the young kid in. <laughs> hey, one thing I want to tell you guys, a little follow-up on the seminar last night. and You know, I find it... It gives me a nice, warm and fuzzy feeling if somebody else learned something from one of my lectures. But the main deal is for me to learn not to make some of the mistakes that I regularly make. And I've found myself twice in this tournament taking cubes. Just Out because, of the zone? Just because takers are hard to beat, and I beat the last opponent. Oh. We'll see if we got a take here, Ray. Yeah, but uh, you can still vouch doubling. for me how bad of the cubes I was taking. I took everything. I had two on the roof, and I took it because of the alive. position I showed last night, was which was no double with two guys on the roof. Yeah, I'm still alive. Okay, well, look, what, what is going on here? Oh, Dana, Dana whipped it again. Dana whipped it again early. Kit says, no, thank you. Did he pass already? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he's got three on no, the ace No, that's a here. big this pass. Seems pretty good. Yeah. That, yeah, that's not. He's got three on the ace. That's horrible. Yeah. And he's going to get. Please take that smacked. versus me, anybody. Uh, <laughs> Anyone. Okay. So here we go. We're off and running again. Slots with the ace. Two ahead. Now that's in your head. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think you you don't slot the five when you're ahead. You break uh, twenty four, twenty three. 
Now, Kit might be one of the only few guys that thinks he can gain something by complicating the position against Dana. I would disagree, but... <laughs> But Dana's. Kit's not real arrogant. He um, look at this. He told me he said there's just an awful lot of guys playing better than he is, and he feels like he's up on the game still because he spends a fair amount of time studying it. But that there's yeah. just too many other good players out there. Oh, Double fours. Dana probably gonna. Um, Gonna be We're in a little game trouble game. here, maybe down in the race. Okay, okay. Kip most likely running with these. Not much else looks Tara very good. Is telling me we're setting up a a match for uh, stream two. We've got a fighters bracket match between Jonas Seawald and Mays Petrosian. So just the timing works out such that that's a. We have an available table, and that's the uh, best available match. And uh, that'll be a fun match, Mays and Jonas Seawald. So you you, you brutalized my buddy Stubby from Houston here? Yeah, I took some questionable cubes, but uh, I had two in the air on one of them, and only took it because of my position that I showed last night. That you didn't want one, to make the same mistake, Joe. Yeah, Urso so I Matt made. Huh? So I made myself take it, and I was ahead eight to nothing at the time. And I, I, he hit two checkers loose off the ace point, and I fanned with double sixes on a one point board. And I would have brought probably routinely passed that during the last two years. But I took it because of this. And then, uh, you know, I got lucky and won the game. Okay. So you tell me, you play the winner of this match? Yeah. Ray plays the winner of this match. In the money round, yeah, well, it'll be money round. One thing I can tell you was, well, actually, neither one of them really hedges much. Uh, Kip might, but Dana won't. He hates hedging. He likes having something on it. He, he seems to, and he also tells me that uh, he likes the burn factor when he beats somebody. He likes the what? Burn. The burn factor. When he beats you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a total combatant. I mean, he's. Well, you probably get a little. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't mind. When you beat him. Too. I don't mind winning one bit. <laughs> Tim, the, the stream two matches are on YouTube. They are on the Ace Point Backgammon YouTube channel, which is Tar and my channel. And uh, so they're the same thing. They're archived on uh, on YouTube on the Ace Point channel as these oh, matches yeah, are that. archived on the uh, Backgammon Galaxy channel. So they're all available. Uh, henceforth, or henceforward, something. They're always available. Uh oh. All right. Who's heading this race? Bill, did you count it yet? I haven't counted it yet. I think uh, Kit is ahead. It it's like even it. there. It's even on outside. Yeah. They, uh, yeah even on the outside. And is down 12, 17, minus 8, 9, 10. He was down about 7, I guess. Now, a lot of uh, Tim, I mean, if you Oh, want this to... is going to tighten up the race quite a bit, Bill. Yeah. Tim, if you want to see content, you can go to... Our, I would go to the two-point. Our ace point. Two-point, uh, two-point, two-point. Our ace point back, I mean, YouTube channel. Like, uh, from our tournament in Texas, which was in February, Super Bowl weekend... Uh, we ran four streams, four live continuous streams. Next year, we're doing five. But we ran four this year, and we streamed, I forget the exact number, but over five days, we streamed 165 matches. 165 <laughs> matches. How many of them did you comment on? I didn't, none in Texas. Oh. Nick was the commentator in Texas. I was the director. So he was the marathon man, yeah. Yeah, he was man. Nick, Nick, he can talk all day long. 
on yeah. uh, doing commentary and does. Yes, he does. He does a fine job too. Hey, out there, Nick. I don't know where Nick is. I don't know if he's doing some commentary I guess remote he... from, uh, you know, that Budva tournament's going on this weekend. Okay. Merit uh, artist tournament. Merit in Budva? Budva Montenegro. Okay. Petco's there. Yeah. Okay, that's a good place for Petco. Stay away from the U.S. Open, pal. <laughs> I, I just realized that... Uh, that this is the U.S. Open, and it's been a while since I've won one. Have you won one in the past? Yes. Here? Yes. Oh. I think it was 2018 or something. For a while there, I had to stop the streak of Asians winning it because Carol Joy Cole won it and Ted She won it twice, I think. Didn't they, did Akiko and Mochi and some of them win it on occasion? Uh-uh. Uh, they don't get to the U.S. Open very often, but Carol Joy Cole won and Ted some of the Vegas tournaments. And yeah, might have been the uh, Las Vegas Open. Well, right? Moji played me in the finals in one of those events, and uh, it took him five and a half hours, but he beat me. Well, I remember you go back twenty years. I remember Mochi playing in the final, and it took eight hours. Well, no clocks. and then and it ruins Man. the whole thing for the spectators. And in, in our match, someone would walk up and stand there, and Mochi be thinking about the move, and then that person would leave before Mochi made a move. Yeah, you know? and uh, doesn't endear people to the game. And, and those uh, Tim the Ace Point uh, Texas tournament. Of course, that was our own tournament, our own streaming and production. Nick Blazer doing a commentary, but they uh, are this same style and superb quality of stream. So uh, it's that was interesting. Ace by Dana there. He can't slotted the three points. What is this? Is damn near five. even, and it Ray? Right? Yeah, it really is. They're they're not counting it, so it must be pretty close. Cool. So Dana's a checker up. Dana resisted the urge to send it, even though he was down eight to five. But uh, he's just waiting. You know, I'm sure he's just waiting for the. Even after the double sixes, he had. You know. Well, it's almost. It a, looks like Kit's it's a ahead now. Toss up here. Uh oh, he was. He's going to give up a little now. Because Dana's likely going to get more than four pips out of this shake. Yeah, that's considerably more. Yeah, well, that was a nice shake. Okay, might be some now, now, look at this. Six, eight checkers two versus pips eight back. checkers. Dana's two checkers, two pips down. All right, so he just fires. Not wasting time on stuff. And look okay, at that. so now we're set. Hits. Boy, this is, this is close to, he's one down. Yeah, he's only one down. But that's more of a take than it is a double. Okay, now where are we? Look at this. Well, Dana's going to miss with fives, and Kit's going to bear off with them. So, looks like Dana's going to get one in here at the end, maybe. All right, four jackers versus four checkers, and Kit's up four pips. No, he's up two pips. Dana shakes. This is a Look pretty good out. number. That's pretty good. Now, if Kit doesn't sixes, get sixes double sixes, sixes or better, he's going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, I hate it when I don't get double sixes. <laughs> this jacket's too warm. I gotta take it off. What happened to Aaron? I don't know. He's Aaron's like a toddler. He got a attention span of a nanosecond. Mm. <laughs> If that. All right. I, I love Aaron, though. Played a lot with him in the Vegas club. Did that other match he, start yet? He's I, high energy. Okay, so on stream two, which is the Ace Point YouTube channel, we have a fighter's bracket match. or They call it, they're not calling it fighter's bracket here. One loss bracket. I think Rory's actually calling it a 
No. Uh, oh, second Pitt, chance bracket. Pitt gets a strong start. He's but anyway, much uh, Mays Petrosian and uh, Jonah Seawald are playing on stream two. Oh, Kid's really playing good this game, Bill. He rolled double sixes and followed it up with double fives. <laughs> After he rolled an initial well, six you one. Have seen one of the earlier games. Get had two checkers on the eighteen point over here. Everything else around. Dana had the twelve and thirteen, right? It rolled double sixes, double sixes, double fives. Never moved a pip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he moved zero and three shakes. That's a yeah, pretty with, low with, average. With sixty-eight pips available to him, <laughs> and he can't move a single pip. All right. Oh, should Dana take this after six-one double sixes, double fives? Not too many positions are a take. I don't think Dana's down. Is Dana's a taker? You know, it's hard to beat takers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you got to temper your enthusiasm in some positions, Bill. <laughs> your optimism. <laughs> One must play with a semblance of fear in backgammon. Well, Kit could leave a lot, shot with a lot of numbers yeah, he right doesn't now. Have, he's got a lot of bloody numbers here. But he could also he's got some spank killers. him. Yeah, he's he could killers, spank but... him pretty bad. I don't know. Is it a take? I, I'm taking personally. But, you you uh, are? I am. All right. What uh, are you doing? Well, I just got done doing a lecture saying takers are hard to beat. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you might not. You don't yeah, have to like it. but you might. with a big gap in the two numbers is going to block. <laughs> well, not, not if it's 4-1 and uh, whatever. Yeah, let Dana, go. let it go. Now, like I will that. certainly defer to Dana's decision because Dana is one of the best. Oh, man. He's, he's a smart man. You know, okay. I can't tell. I mean, I, I should have a rooting interest in here, but I'm real good friends with Dana. And I have a lot of fun playing with Kit. We trash talk a lot. So, like, if you guys... Maybe we ought to turn up the turn table up mics. The, turn up the volume, yeah, because we'll be talking trash. <laughs> <laughs> and Dana will talk some trash, too. I mean, he's from Boston. Uh-oh, oh, oh Is this too good? Dana, you, this is one thing Dana does more than anybody else. He rolls on. And well, you see him, he shook his head. He was hoping for something better than that on that roll. No, he didn't. You you must have been seeing things. Dana never changes his expression. Oh, he did. He was no, he, he was didn't. sitting there shaking his head on. All that it one. was was a six. That's no big deal if you miss a six. Now, see, here you go. You can wait, and then you, you first. Oh, you, no way, baby. You try to jam a gammon down the guy's throat, and if it doesn't work, then you double him out later. You were talking about that last night. Thing. I was yeah. thinking about you. You have you ever had a dog worming dogs? the same thing you got to hold them <laughs> stick it down their throat yeah those little weenie dogs all right seven to nine you can just put peanut butter on the pill we like we wrap his uh, pills we wrap Guinness's pills in beef heart beef heart he only eats raw meat and raw oh, does, organs you know, and stuff. Raw meat. Okay. That's no, what I like, too. No processed foods. <laughs> Over the board, I like some raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Stubby still behind me? He, probably feel, he feels like raw meat right now. <laughs> I, well, you know. Sometimes okay. the other guy gets lucky, and in those cases, you generally lose. That's what happens. But, uh, well, and it's always nice when you're playing somebody maybe that's better than you, and he gets all the luck. I mean, <laughs> that was my basic problem. Like somebody with, I don't know. I love you. He said many times I thought I got outlooked, and I did. Yeah, you know, one thing that's almost it's pretty consistent though is the guy who wins <laughs> had more luck. You very seldom, you know, have less of luck. One time I, 
My proudest moment was I had minus 3.5 luck and I won the finals of an event. Okay, he's going to get out. Yeah, I feel very, very bad. Well, you you wouldn't feel near as bad as I would. <laughs> but it is kind of fun to tell people how the other guy was so lucky, but you beat him anyway, you know. I rolled bad, but I played really good. Spam call on the iPhone there. Oh. Two six from the bar. Now Dana just got an itchy trigger finger right here if Kit doesn't perform. One Boom. six from the bar. Well, he wow. performed. Dana's got an itchy trigger finger at all times. But he he was uh, masterful in restraint in one of those last games. Two six from the bar. Yeah, that's two times and three shakes. Who did? Bay Rack. Lurrell's good. Yes, Urban he is. must be pretty decent too. Yeah, I played him in the finals in L.A. And I, if I had scored a point, then I would have had one. Remember, your PR, your table's PR was much worse than our intermediate final. Who were you playing? I was playing. Oh, no. Uh, Macaulay? Yeah. Oh, in Los Angeles. Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, that guy. Sustraka or, no, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Okay. There it comes. We knew we were talking about. Dana, so Dana, Dana sends it over. Trigger finger. And he's he had some. Uh, he said he had some hitting and some priming equity. So his up. Uh, Look now, see, look at here's a brilliant move. He's going to just make his five point, leave blots all over. Everybody else would do something like this. Okay, he just, he just did the regular move. But now This is going to quite a price to pay to hit. Well, there's Maybe quite a price people. to pay to make the bar point also. He's got to leave a double shot to do that. Yeah. Uh, generally... Uh, the computer hits a lot of positions that I don't because it just sends a guy back, you know, it takes away half of his shake. And Kit back, he goes, does it okay? Dana looking for 6x here. No 6x now. Dana, he sends to his doubles partner, I, I'm going to predict that Dana just goes out to the bar point here. He says, when the guy's got a whole lot of builders out there, you just go out to the bar point. And what's he going to do? There it is. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. That'll unstack the six point a little bit, Kit, with those six checkers. Is this a good shake or what? And for his last trick. Well, they can't slide eight to seven because that would expose him to two six from the ball. Well, he's exposed to two six. I see O'Hagan behind me there. How did O'Hagan's match with the uh, sacks go? O'Hagan lost the sacks. Oh my God! Well, second place isn't bad, John. He's gonna. He's thinking about making the bar point. That was in the uh, fighters bracket. So he's he's he relegated to consolation now. Well. I think he crushed me last night, so I don't care what happened to him. There's Johnny, Mr. Vitor. I heard you forfeited a match today, John. I think so. They, Aaron was talking about that you forfeited a match. You better go find out. Went up there and told me to come up with and start tomorrow morning. 
Well, but did you play a second chance match? You got confused with the consolation. Consolation is tomorrow, John. But you were in the like consolation. You were just in the losers bracket. I think you got forfeited out, brother. Better go check. Ask Aaron. Consolation is effectively last chance in this. I know it, it's confusing. Oh, Dana is going to pick up a cube here. Or no, did he, oh, he already sent it. Look at this. This was a bad fan by. Uh, yeah, I guess. Do you hit pick or do you make the five point? Step up 24 23 now. I'm thinking he, he ought to consider just making the five point. But that's powerful, powerful stuff. I mean, he maybe will well be able to make it again. Yeah, that would give him a no, six. No, this is the okay. play, I think. All right. But you got to consider the other one. And he didn't really Where's think the other checker? It's hiding. It or can't find dies. the dice. <clears throat> yeah, I think John got confused by the second chance Aaron, consolation. Yeah, Aaron was talking about it. John's ducking me, John's ducking me, John's ducking me, and then they forfeit him and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So. He's going to he's gonna be crestfallen when he finds that out, if, that, if he did get. Okay, Dana needs this five-point. Does he? Maybe he could send it here. No. Oh, look at he rolled two one. <laughs> this guy here he, he, he forwarded a match to Mochi once, but who did? This guy on here, Tim Sullivan. You see, he forwarded a match to Mochi, but he just did it so he could say, "Well, he won, but it was a technicality." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I lost on the technicality. Technically, I lost. <laughs> Oh, we have so much fun in this game. Oh, Kit gets out with a six. Is that going to give him a take? He's I already got the cube. Oh, that's right. Yeah, all right. That's right. I forgot yeah, Dana's about that. Dana to, spent that early. Dana's looking to pound on him here. Yes, he is. Should he leave the anchor? No. I hit him on the deuce. I don't know. I don't know about that. You want him on the deuce. That's where you want him. That checker belongs there. You got to get out of there at some point. And uh, Kit might work him over, but he's still going to... He reached to get another guy sent behind that five prime. So I might... I would think about coming out and going uh, eight to seven. It could be wrong, but you got to run sometime. And you're, that's a I pretty guess, good prime. That could, there you go. Okay, See that? So, so Ray yeah. is right. Well, that we can just both be wrong, Bill. <laughs> Dimitri is back in the house. Hi, Dimitri. Craig Anderson is in the house. Hey, guys. Oh, he's looking at your play now. Hey, hey, hey. He's going, what bozo would do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. He came isn't, out. isn't someone calling your name? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you needed in the, the back of the room? There we go. 5-1. Here's the attack. Look here. Look here. Ooh. Look at Dana. He's just going to come on out. And Kit's going to try and flail with, this, with four men behind a five prime. Okay. And Dana's going to play... Game we used to like in the video arcade called Pac Man. <laughs> He's going to be munching on some blots. Now, see, he didn't step up, though. Now, this is significant. It makes, it doesn't give a kid a target, you know? Doesn't give him a target. And those two checkers are under a lot of pressure from. Yeah, because uh, Dane is threatening those. Yeah. But he can ignore that pressure if he's got a target to attack. Dana steps up anyway. All right, might as well face the music, he said. And if he gets a five or a four, I won't get pointed on. And he got a five and a four. Look at this, though, Kit. <laughs> He's working on this side of the board, but he could either get hit or he could just not get out with those four oh. checkers behind the five prime. 
So this is not an enviable position for Mr. Woolsey. Now, would you slot the two-point? Look at that. Without a hesitation, Kit slots the two-point. Now, it's easy to get confused by that terminology, John, so don't... It's all right, John. It's don't only beat the, up yourself. It's only the U.S. Open. And was it against Aaron? It was Aaron that he forfeited to. That's bad. That's Look at Kit. At the last possible second, he pr produces a six. Now Dana flubs. Kit's begging for another six. And he gets an ace. He gets to the launching pad. Uh, initiate the countdown, the launch Shit. sequence. Uh, Five, Dana would like four, some of those aces. Three, two. One and Kit. Kit better get a six right about here. He got a, a six. A natural six, uh, not a combo six. <laughs> Have to be specific here. All right. Well, he'll wait until it's more dramatic, like now. <laughs> All right. Six, six and hit in passant. Oh, God, that would be a huge shake. Mm. What kind of Peter Butter do you like, Kit? Crunchy. Four point, I think. I don't know. It seems like the natural play. Yeah, you don't want to tempt the gods. Well, he tempted the gods. <laughs> yeah. That it, hits and covers. That'll man. make double sixes really good. <laughs> Kit can write home to his grandkids about it. Dana, Dana, he's... Flies right in the face of fear. That's why he's a much admired player in backgammon. Uh oh. Runaway die. There, Dana got it. Did you see? So So uh who who threw that? Dana. Dana he got excited because he got missed with the double sixes? Yeah, and he shot one across the board there, halfway across the room. He's still going to give him that super joker double six. Yeah, but that's all. See, that's the idea well, behind that. That's all he so. needs. <laughs> well, no, it won't be all he needs because he's kind of got to cover with one of them, so he can't get them all out. You get two of them out and cover. Now Dana's playing for the gammon. He wants to, he wants to shoot at that checker when it comes out. See, he's going to make the points behind. This is a concept I learned from XG. I, I used to... Load all my builders on the prime, waiting for the guys to come out. Now he could think about breaking the uh, point five away. Trapping a little bit, yeah, more of a trap play kind of thing. He won't do it here. I I would bring the front one in, I think, but he, no, nope, he's not doing it. He wants that direct shot on any six, and he doesn't mind giving up the double sixes he, like he's shown. This looks like. Anyway, uh, trap plays don't really uh, apply so much when the other guy has a third checker back because he can leave without breaking his anchor. Unfortunately, Ian, uh, yes, Mr. Stubby succumbed quickly to Mr. Vogel. <laughs> I, I heard the terms uh, raw meat and all kinds of things used. but uh, Yeah, but that was not in reference to... Mr. Stubby. He was a gentleman throughout. <laughs> but he rolled like a putz. <laughs> You're up 12 to 6 and lost, John. And then you decided to take a break and forfeit your next match. Okay, now this is where. You can get sexy, and you can bring two guys in and leave two blots. But look, at Dana doesn't even know about the trap play. He's not trying that. <laughs> but that's that's more like when there's just an anchor there. But look at Kit. The advanced trap play here. But that's okay. When they have a two-point board, unless you, you don't, you know, you can lose plenty of ways this way. You might as well force them to participate in their own demise that's a very satisfying thing to do back him
Look at Dana. He's like workmanlike, and he's worked it back, and he's got this match. At least he's tied it up. He may even win a fluke gammon. Yeah, don't be scared. No, and he doesn't. I mean, oh, kids. <laughs> A herd of two ones. Dueling by. two ones here. He wouldn't mind another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Look out. Jaina changed his horses in the middle of the stream. I think he changed the stream in the middle of the horse. <laughs> Kit, Kit never got gammon in a game like this. That would be a psychological hammer blow to deliver. Well. Oh, oh wrong man. The, the, uh, the perfectly inefficient double. <laughs> it's a rare, a rare species of dice roll. Look at this. Kit still... Still not safe. He's trying to figure out how can I get off with double fours and fives? Oh, yeah. All right. I rolled four, three twice. What, what's it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, Dana. That's the right idea. Here comes a big. Oh. Well done, Kit. Look at him laughing. He's smiling like. I don't think so. I think there were four in the We'll see it. He's smiling like Johnny V tore on Christmas. He, uh, Dana had to play, had such a horrible double three. <laughs> he could have, would have gammoned him on that game. Yeah. Okay. Six away, six away. I still don't know who I'd rather play of these two guys. I, I know one thing. I'll be a dog against either one of them. Oh, no. That's, uh, no, that's Jonah and uh, Neil's playing in there, but not on the stream. Jonah and uh, Mays Petrosi in there playing. All right, who's the favorite in this match now, Bill? It's nine to nine. Who would you take if I'd you take, had the bet? I'd, I'd take uh, Dana. All right. One, there was a time of some years back when I was doing a Giants uh, backgammon ballot. And I put Kit's name at the top. I thought he was that good. Speaking of that, I guess they've not released it. It's done. It's supposed to be released here today, tomorrow, or something. Oh, is it? Giant Wars. This is a pretty ugly set of twos. Usually you got to play with it. Man, this. He could duplicate aces and break the midpoint, but he, he simplified it a little bit. I'm going to move bit. this real quickly before anybody sees me. Look at this shake by Kit. Now, this is a good shake. Dana's got railroad tracks, and Kit took a massive lead in the race. Dana needs a five to survive here. There he goes. He should make that outfield point a slot to five, I think. I don't know. Well, unless the race, five for sure. It unless is. the race is not that close. Let's see. He's going to be down ten, and up uh, sixteen, even. It's dead even. He'll be up one pip after he makes this play. At least in Chicago, win, Dimitri. Not in it's a Chicago tournament. That's two months away. CJC told me it was going to be released today, tomorrow, or the next day, something like that. What does she know about the Giants? Well, yeah, what back she know, though, right? <laughs> I think she has good connections. Yeah, she does.
Well, this is a real tight race, so unless somebody rolls something big, it's not going to be anything happening for a while. There's something big. Dane will come around the corner with the 6-5. He should come around the corner with the 6-5. What is he doing? Well, I'm did not I, sure did what I, maybe I was. Maybe I counted it wrong. I don't know. He's down 10, up 3, up 10, down 2, down 2, down 2. He, he was down 5, I guess, now. After the shake. Yeah, so he probably had to stay back. All right. So he maintained that output. Down 10, up 3, 10, down 2, down 5. Yeah, down 5. Well, it's such that, I mean, Kit's uh, counting it and thinking about it yeah. himself. Well, he's Honestly, not going to send it. He doesn't have a significant enough Racing advantage. lead, no, he doesn't. So, and uh, now he rolled a low average shake. So... Dana won't double this because he's down nine pips. Nine down. Now he's down four, and Kit not going to send that either. And Kit will just slot to three. Kit just got. Oh my God! By whom? Oh, Tristan. Tristan didn't. This uh, Tim Sullivan guy here, he, he's, by the way, Ray, good lecture and thanks. All right. Well, thank you, Tim. We'll get you out to a tournament. Tell you how that stuff works over the board. All right. Now these guys are posturing and they're putting checkers on points. They're, this is going to eventually be a bear off. It's an even race now, so I would probably stick one on the two point. But maybe it's better to come in two and four and put one on the. Uh... No, Dana did what I said. All right, so he's he's ready for the bear off. And uh, when all else, all other things being equal, Dana would might maybe like his four to look a little bit like a wedge. So if he had another guy on the six point, that would kind of look wedgy. And uh, they're both sitting there hoping to roll another 6-5 or big set. Seeing who blinks first. Yeah. Kit's a little bit ahead, but Dane is probably going to have a tiny bit better distribution. Mr. Jeff Hall sitting behind us in his loud shirt. He, he has to face Brandon Macklin tonight in the Masters. Have you ever played Brandon? Okay. That'll be an experience for you, Jeff. You remember that guy you beat last year? <laughs> Jeff and I had a hell of a match. Yeah, that was the one with the monster back games, wasn't it? Yeah, they, they, used, it, they used it as a demo video they raised on, the, um, on the, one of the UK websites. Oh, oh is really? that right? Yeah, they made, made fun of Ray, did they? They just said if you want to see a bat game in action, it's a pretty good one to see. Yeah. <laughs> that only took about an hour to yeah. play. <laughs> okay, who blinks first? No blinking yet. And what, what, let's see, he's down six, but he's up, okay, then he's up six and up one. Okay. It, was, it was dead even right there. Yeah. That was dead even. And now Kid's a favorite because he's got this shot, but it's not enough to send a cue. 5 3 against 5 3. So it's still dead even. Yeah. And uh, it's a six point yeah. match. <laughs> that was like uh, contraindicated, Dana. It's going to count it up, and he's going to find out, oh, I'm up three. Or down so then three. then he's going to roll. Down, down three, but he's on shake. So that, it would be a dead even game if he was down four on shake. And that's all assuming that I got the right count. And sometimes I don't give out the real count. 
in the chouette. <laughs> and then they say, that count's not all you wanted, the real count. Okay. Here comes Dana. Oh, another brick. He's rolling like John Vitor. <coughs> Uh-oh. Now Kit's getting an itchy trigger finger. What's going on here? What's the race now? That's 12 and that's 11. So Kit's... Yeah. 36, 46, Kit's down 57. one. He's up four. He's even, even, Seven. even. He's up one pip. Kit. If I 56, got that right. 56, 57. Okay. We used different methods and came up with the same answer. But there's a crossover difference, too. Does that make enough yeah. difference, dude? I don't think. I don't think. One pip and a crossover. I don't think it's significant enough. Do you? There, well, he's got some wastage on the ace point and stuff. It's an even match. I don't know. Maybe. He, he got Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Let's see. I don't, I'm not sure. I thinking that I wouldn't, but I, and I'm not a guy that uses those EPC counts, but the Keith count would probably is, not be think, favorable. Uh, I don't think Dana would let it hit the board. No, that doesn't. Yeah. Just because he's going to take doesn't mean that you don't, you know, necessarily double because Dana's wasting a pip on every six that he rolls, right? <sighs> Six five three two, yeah. Oh, look, Kit, he's challenging him. He's talking to him. You want to take this? He said, "Do you like apples?" Do you, do you feel lucky today? <laughs> See now, how much the complexion changed with that one shake. And uh, Dana lets you go. And uh, Kit lost his market, but he's probably glad about that. I mean, he doesn't have to finish winning the game. All right. <clears throat> 10 to 9. That's what I thought. On Bill, I'm going to take just a minute break. Yeah. I'll be right back. I thought it was one tip. It's a bitch when you're getting older, eh? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So, yeah. scorecard. Scorecard. Okay, there you got it. One point. Huh? What's one point? Yeah. Sit down if you want. Yeah. I'll see if oh, I can add any yeah. uh, an English accent for you with a, with a bright shirt. We we get a little British perspective in here. Okay, it's an exciting match anyway. It is. Now, how are you doing in the main event? Now, you shouldn't be asking me questions like that because I, I wouldn't be commentating if I was doing <laughs> well. <in it. laughs> but yeah. you are in the Masters semifinal tonight. Yeah, I'm in the jackpot semi tonight. Brad, Brandon Macklin. Bra Brandon Macklin, yeah. Jeff Hall. Never played him before. So um, I'm just going to get myself rested for that. Brandon's um, a cool dude, man. I don't know what he does. I think he's he's pretty much a professional gambler. I think okay. of various sorts. Okay. Poker, pool, backgammon. A man after my own heart, then. He, he's more of a... And he's he's a good player. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. He, he's he's much more of a money player than a match player. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, so we've got sort of a cagey bit of hitting going on. I know uh control the tempo of the game and that's probably gonna hit again. It's got a slightly stronger board, so he doesn't mind his hitting uh, exchange. Yeah, and he so can much. make the four. Yeah, okay. that's nice. Okay. <laughs> this guy He's gonna consider relates to what you said earlier. It's that those who can win play, those who can't commentate. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> At least I won't be commentating tonight. I will be playing, so that's something. It's going to be a bit late for my uh, my my friends in England. Okay, here we go. Dana's got the ace double. point anchor. I think he's taking that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> snatched it, actually. Dana's a taker, anyway. Yeah, um, I, I wouldn't have snatched it. I would have. <laughs> but, uh, Dana's probably. 
one of the least known best players. Oh yeah, no, in the I, world. I, no, yeah. I, I mean, I've, I'm familiar with Dana and his PR, and uh, yeah, very solid player. And I, and I think he is known in, like you say, perhaps not as well known as some of the others. But uh, well, he retired a year or two ago, so he's starting to play. Uh, okay. and travel that 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 would that would that would make some uh, difference. Yeah, he's going to make the bar, so he's in a very good position now, Kit. The four point. Okay. Well, that's the, the golden point, as they say. It's in a commanding uh, position here. And then, Dana. Do you make the 23 here? He's got to step I think up. You've got to. Oh, you either make that or step bit. up. Yeah, yeah. Either way. This was probably actually better, I think. Yeah, but I, I I see what you're saying. The stepping up wouldn't have been uh, too bad. Okay. The 6-4 makes the point. So Kit would love to um, win a double gammon here. Puts him at Crawford. Nice shake that's there. A, yeah, that's uh, that's going to help. That's going to help his quest. So Dana is in a lot of, a lot of. He's going to possibly end up with more checkers back if things go wrong, because Kit's got quite a bit of timing having three on the yeah, money point and, there. Yeah, uh, and and Dana's stripped on. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not like Kit's going to be bearing in some time right, soon right and uh, dana is going to have trouble right here and that's going to well that's it. great but now he's just he's too far ahead of himself now. yeah yeah he'd rather obviously double one rather than double five yeah, would have been yeah. so now kit is going to do his best to pick up additional checkers because it would take him to uh crawford six away which would be a very very strong position we can get a gammon here So who you're not on the board any longer? Who's heading up the UKBGF nowadays? I would believe I think it would be Julia Julia Haywood, yeah, okay. who who's, who's been in that position before. Okay. Um, there, there were I, I served my two years, and then you, you know I, I did I did have the option to continue. Decided not to. I, I'm I'm doing some consulting for a, a US company actually, so it's taken up a little bit of time. <laughs> I should say it's taking up all my time, yeah. really. Okay, but it's it is taking up a fair amount of time. So uh, I, I just thought I'd step down, like someone else. Um, you know, I, I think it's a great experience. Well, and uh, <laughs> it's the and I'll use the British term, the controversy. <laughs> of the, uh, oh, that deal oh, last gosh. year that kind of died down now. And yeah, I mean it's um. Yeah, that that was um, that's actually how I came to be chairman. Well, that's what I was way. thinking that it was some fashion. Yeah, um, I was on the board at the time, but I, I sort of, if you like, took over the sort of the general consensus of it. I mean, you know, you've got sort of nine nine voices on the board, and they've all got differing views. Some are a lot stronger, and, and I yeah. think we came out with a with a very you know, it was a fair. You're never going to please everybody um, yeah. in that situation, and um, it, it, you know, it was a shame. I was on I was on vacation at the time in Greece, and I spent six hours on my last day writing up the report. So uh, yeah, that didn't go down very well with the with, with, with uh, my uh, travelling companion. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I miss it. I miss playing the piano when I'm, hey, what uh, happened? When I'm in Vegas. Got a, uh, yeah, we, I, we, uh, we, Cuban here. he got a Cuban and... Um, then he went his way after that. Yeah, I mean, he's going to be looking to try and uh, squeeze a Damn Crawford it, six away. Be yeah, this would be a perfect time. Oh. Well, it's never a, a not, not a perfect time to win a gammon, is there, really? No, no. <laughs> 
Now is the perfect time to win again. Let's see, so 310. All right. Might have a break. Maybe we'll get something to eat. Before I'm going to get some one. lunch in a minute so Ray can take back over. I mean, uh, he's, well, no, his mic works too. So. Oh, does it? Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to say that in this position, I prefer green. Dana got in a lot of trouble. Dana got he's in a, a lot taker. Of yeah. He, that's what yeah, he he's, he's, he sort of snatched the cube. I mean, I'm not going to go against a player like Dana's, um, but I think I would have given it a little bit more thought. You know, um, yeah, he pretty much snatched it up. Yeah, it was almost like it was a not. You know, you've you got the feeling it wasn't a cube, but I mean, Kit had made the rack, had made the four, five, and six points, and and Dana was back on the one point. So I think I would have given it some thought. All um, right, that's a fair enough assessment. I mean. Uh... It's easy to say when it's gone wrong, wrong for him because <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, anybody can say, well, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, this looks like a pass. To it me. looks like a pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This yeah. is an awkward <laughs> role for Kit, though. I mean, how's he going to play this for? Well, he's going to clear he's the seven, clear that. which he yeah. almost has to. One the, of the, the only other play was to stack on the floor. Yeah, yeah, that was that, that was, was that would have been pretty ugly. One of the things that Dana and I have had a lot of conversations about down through the years is how much equity you get by holding the deuce point. And uh, it's just okay. kind of surprising, but, uh, you know. What do you say, about uh, 20%? More than you would think. I don't know. It's just that, you know, they're slingering in, and, and you don't, because they bear off so slow against the deuce point, you don't get gammoned very often. But watch them get gammoned, never get a shot here. But see, he's out. Yeah, he's a big favorite to save the gammon, and there's a fair chance he'll get a shot, right? Yeah, when Kit cleared the um, cleared the bar, that was a really important five six that Dana rolled to get mm -hmm. that four check mm -hmm. around. And and now he's going to uh, so he's, he's a big favorite to scurry save home and yeah, limit the damage. Plus, if he now rolls double sixes, he'd be right there in the race, kind of right. Well, he'd, he'd make he'd it be closer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, that was what I'd be wishing for. A lot of times you sit there waiting for a shot that's never going to come, and you could have, you know, maybe run off the thing. You never can tell when, you know, two sets of fives come up in a row. What yeah. did you say earlier? It rolled six, 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 five, five, and didn't get to move. Pip. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, two on the 18 point. Oh, wow. Otherwise, Dana had the 12 and 13. It rolled six, 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 oh, five, geez. five. All those pips gone, gone to waste, yeah. It's at 68 pips down oh, the drain. Wow. And I think I'd go to the five <laughs> point here, but... <laughs> he Is could, he going to the five? Or I, he... I'm, I think so, but he could come around to... I guess he's trying to figure out you know, what's going to be the best if he rolls a good number. Uh, that, it would take a lot for that pip I to could, bite you. Double f no, it doesn't really do. take a lot for me to win this game. I think he's <laughs> probably less. Probably. I didn't think there's going to be very much in that play. The same was okay, I thought around, around about one or two percent chances of that. Yeah, you need, yeah. You need, you need uh, a couple of big doubles. Saves now. You can, uh, well, incredibly. Maybe there was a way I should have done. Only gets two off. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. That helps, but not much. Yeah. He needs a incredible parlay, and that that wasn't part of it, probably. We need, uh, yeah, that's what he needs. And just to make it worse, he's got an odd number of checkers anyway. So yeah. Good. Better uh, start rolling sets now, Dana. No, save them for the next game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Dana dug himself out of one hole in this match already. Oh. And get back to even, and then Kits. Yeah, well, Dana was down pretty good, right? And he gets it back to 9-9, nine, nine, and now yeah. Kit pulls away again. Kit's doing his matador imitation. Oh, he's, he's, uh, like Mitchie says, that uh, he calls it the stupid score, three away. Um, <laughs> and I, 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 I must admit... I, I don't like being three away. 
no, it's not as far. I'm three away. No, I like, away. and I like my three opponent three. to be three away because I know they can make some mistakes. Absolutely. And, yeah. And you know, I can, I can put on my glasses that don't have any lenses, and I can see that it's a take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they're three away, it's a take, <laughs> almost, <laughs> unless you're closed out. But because it's almost perfect leverage they hand you. I'd just been given a. And at similar position, the guy was three away and I was eight away. And um, it doubled me on a quite a bit of contact. Of course, I had the worst of it. But then I turned it around and I just needed to roll a two. So I gave the dice and failed miserably a couple of times and lost the match. But that, that can happen as well, obviously. Um, That's okay. That's what was happening in the first place. But you yeah, were losing right. the match, right? You gave yeah. your, <laughs> That's right. You gave yourself the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if the luck, it's like I said last night, if a duck, luck doesn't equal out, then I'm going to be in the consolation. So I might as well get, you know, something for my, if I get lucky, do I want to have the cube on two or four? So Absolutely. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, what you do with this horrible roll? Oh, what you got? The whole roll to play? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's... I don't know, man. You got to start something. See, sometime. look, look. There's a deuce anchor. Okay. I yeah. would have said that he was going to do that because of the discussions we've had in the past. Well, there's the five point, possibly. Yeah, it's underrated. Look at Kid. He hits and passant to making the five point. That's beautiful. And Dane is in more trouble. Man, oh man, this guy. No, wait, wait. this is the only thing at three away. When do you give the cube now? Because would you be tempted, Ray, to cube? Well, the kind of cubes that you that I see the XG given in these positions are the kind that tend to be pretty gammonish, you know, when it goes good. Uh, and when a guy's got the deuce anchor, that's not very gammonish. So I'm going to guess he probably won't send this, but he'd be happy to just bring builders around and yeah, this is really close difficult. off the bar point. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if we, saw, yeah. if we saw Dana take fast before, <laughs> why <laughs> would he would do with this one? Excuse me one second, gents. Keep them, keep them entertained. Okay, we can handle it. <laughs> so, what's the choices here? You can play to the 10 point, give yourself. Yeah, that, and that's, that's the other option. Yeah. Yes, I would have just uh, brought the builder over there I, I would have played to the 10 myself just yeah to, just to all right make... so we're on the same page we might be on the wrong page right yeah we're, that's we're on true. the same page <laughs> <laughs> yeah it don't have to be the right one yeah, that's right it gave, gave dana a tempo to uh you know yeah so 13 to 9 or is he going to come out to the bar i think that's what he's considering yeah i'm thinking they should come out Threaten to make the bar point. You have a virtual double shot. That would be great. Yeah, if, if he makes that bar point, then he's he's in the game, isn't he? Right to the end now. Um, that's a hit. Okay, we're gonna find out. That's a, could be a dangerous place to be, Kit. Ooh, no. Oh, oh, he's gonna hit though. Yeah, oh, that's no. gonna hit. Now, Kit could be thinking about, it, but look, he's not even thinking. No. Ooh, do you? That was pretty good. You had sixes and ones and fours were all pretty good. I think I would have gave that some thought with flea check and yeah, back. Yeah. It's that three away score. It really can be. It is, good. but I mean, you know, there Ooh. at some point, you know, you know, you can't just decide to not never double, but that looks like that's actually a fairly good shake for Dana, even though he didn't yeah, protect I mean, his plot. Go ahead. No, do you bring that? Do you come down to the nine or do you play safe? It's decided to. Yeah, he just it up. To... Well, with that 22 point anchor, 
Yeah. He's got some some gaming. Yeah, he's always got something there. It's it's gonna be careful not to hand over leverage cheap. Yeah. But I that was a pretty sexy position when he had fours, ones, and sixes going on over there. Okay. I might be tempted to hit loose. I don't want that stupid builder on the four point, and I don't want him to yeah. anchor. Yeah. And and it ruins his timing a little bit as well. As far, but yeah, he's yeah, still he behind may, the four prime. Yeah. Getting hit is not so bad for no. him. He can recirculate his checkers, and they may end up making the eight point in front of Dana. Okay. Oh, that's, oh nice. that's a sweet shape. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, that might that changes the whole complexion. He can play to the he can play to the mid if he wants, rather than Yeah. How's the tournament been for you, Ray, so far? Well, I'm playing the winner of this, and that's a, it's the money oh, round. Okay. So, uh, ah. but there's some bozo named John O'Hagan who just handed it to me last night. <laughs> 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 I got in the second round of the Masters, and John O'Hagan <laughs> realized how much better he was now. I think he beat me uh, 19 to 4. Ooh, what a miss, guys. Well, Dana rolled a 6-5 to make a nice 8-point out there and uh, yeah. make a game out of this. He was he was in a lot of trouble, but he hung in there as usual. Is it Dana thinking about the 5-4 now? Yeah, his clock's running. Yeah, so I guess I'm just coming down with two. What's he thinking about? Yeah. I'm not sure, actually. He, he can't be thinking of uh, running off the 20, 22. I haven't done a pick count, so I don't know what the race is like. But, I mean. Well, what's he got? 55, 39 to 94, 95. He's pretty far down, I think. Yeah. 119 for black. That's 60. 119, and that's. The anchor is kind of a life preserver, so I would just work on. I think so. One twenty nine, one nineteen, or what I say. That's the problem. You, 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 it was. Uh, I was. Ten, fifty five, ninety. He is thinking of running off. I'm not sure. Ninety five. One nineteen. Yeah. Well, you know, that could be right. But I know for hundred percent that. Well, you know, that could be right. But I know for hundred percent that uh, I wouldn't have done that. And that doesn't really mean anything. Well, this is going to make a four-point board unless he just decides to run. Yeah. Oh, he just switch and step up. That's kind of the yeah. downside of leaving your anchor, which is... But here, two six from the bar will be in okay shape. Two oh, five. Five. That's not too bad. All right. The two and six points open. Those are my... Favorite four point board Ooh, to come in on is this one. Do you hit? Five, four, three, one. Does he have much choice? Well, he can play to the 14, but. He's so he'll just come in that. with a. There he goes. There he goes. He That's minimize better. shots single, and bring more shot. extra builders. Yeah. Dana's stuck back make there. So the, no, he can't hit. Three he, he can't hit. No, but it's a bit dangerous. He's board, thinking. Sure. Yeah. yeah, but if you, no, even fine. if it's dangerous, it, you know, you've got to put him up there. 10, 11% of the time he fans. And you're yeah. going to get attacked anyway over there. It's, pit, yeah. Pit's going to be pretty merciless. Pit's in the center anyway. So, oh, what a. See, he gave him that chance. Diego Munoz from Santiago is back with us. Hello, Diego. Oh, look at this. Diego. Is that it? Oh, he can make the bar point. He can make the nine point. He can make the 17 point. And he does that. And I guess he'll come to eight, two six, in. Huh? Eight, six. eight to six, yeah. We're going to do that. 
Or you can slot the bar. That's okay. not bad. That's only a few, what, two more shots than... Six shots all together. Not one of them. Look at that. Dana, man, he makes... He challenges you to roll something good. Now. Now he's got 11 now. checkers bearing down on that on that block. He's got to consider whether he wants to choose. Yeah, that. he's he's contemplating uh, what he might do. Hmm. Why is he licking his lips? That's one thirty-two <laughs> for white. <laughs> it's like the Six, kid five, put a pork chop in front of him. <laughs> Could hit, but uh, I don't know. Hey, come on down. What the hell? You, you I can, don't think you can't you stop hit, him from getting out anyway. Yeah, I don't think he wants to hit. Oh, yeah, he could hit loose, but I don't think that's it. He's got a whole lot of holding equity well, from, from our the Our problems are over. MCG point. is in the room, so we've got the Yeah, well, we can get the right here, answer. You know? Yeah, we can get the right answer. Right. I'll do what Matt says. But, I mean, he, he's only got a 3,300 rating, so he can't, you know. Can't trust put too much everything, that, you know, huh? carte blanche. I mean, if he wants to leave a bit of um, contact. I mean, I, I guess you could, not that I would suggest it, you could make the two point. And then, and then you've kept yeah. that midpoint. Yeah. Um, rather than that hit. Okay, Matt has gauged this as a tricky position. Okay, hmm. well, I agree. <laughs> if you've got the two point, you can hit on the three or you can come down on the eight. Well, I can tell you from experience that Matt is a tricky person. <laughs> You've look really at Dana. Really Dana never shies away from the. Oh, look at that controversial. Just to think about that, Dana, you're my hero. I think that would be my choice number three out of, out of the three options of either bringing two down or making the. Well, two if there is ever a four-point board that you would try something like that with, it's one that looks like kits. Yes, good point. <laughs> Especially with uh, two six from two, the bar. From I the mean, bar. Well, if you're any good that at that. Board. Yeah. Matt says he thinks he would hit. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Galaxy. Genius. <laughs> huh. a, give him the chance to fan again. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Is the Brave, as they say. Send yeah, this. Is it too good? Send no, it. I don't think it's too good at all. It's, um, you know, it's where the kick can... Actually, think about it. Looks like he I just got he, kicked he under still, the table. He could, <laughs> he could still take this. I man. like it. I like to tell you something, Kit. Takers are hard to beat. If he passes, then uh, Dana's five. Away. He's up a bunch in the race. I think he's gonna. I think he should take it. But well, he be better put his hard hat on because there's gonna be some blood flowing. Better activate he, your... Uh, he, and he doesn't really want Dana to get four them? away if activate he takes. Activate your crash no, bag or no. airbag. Activate your airbag. He would bag. like to get to 14, and he would like Dana not to get to... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're saying he don't want him to get to 11, so yeah, maybe give you, him this one, huh? If you give him this one, right. he's, what, five away three. He's still 35, 65% for the match. These guys, passes. the best players in the world, they don't give you anything, man. You can't, you can't take a it's game a, It's off. a good cube. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, you know, but it might be, you know, more psychologically strong than it is, you know, on the board. You can see yourself. Strong, huh? Yeah, you can see yourself making that, but then the guy rolls, you know, four, five, four, six, and he's in and out, or he just bides his time. The the other trouble is if if you come in on the one or the two point, assuming that Dana makes the three point, you you've got no direct route to get out free the freedom. So although it's only technically going to be a three-point board, you are really hoping that you'd land on that four-point because landing on that one point could, actually, oh, yeah. could yeah. actually put you in, in more problem, could create more problems. Well, let's see. What's the race? Anybody hasn't tried 12 that pips. yet? 12 pips. Kit is up 12 pips. Up 12. All right. I'm taking. I don't. Let's yeah. it go. I, I think at the score. He was just, waiting, to, I, I, he was just yeah. waiting for Ray to commit. <laughs> and just, yeah. and do the opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's ask Matt. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> Matt, what were you doing? Here's to you, Matt. I'm, Matt's a taker, by the way. I love it. And he's the... Uh, I think take. Thank you, Matt. Oh, thank you. I rest my case, and I will go have a Coke. <laughs> okay, so here we are, three away, five away. Yeah, Matt might be the biggest taker in the galaxy. Getting hit isn't so bad. Okay, since I'm 13, nine. So one thing I've learned... One of the themes I really learned. All right, Dana's trying to crawl up there. If he gets to 11, you can see some, there'll be some fast and furious cube action then. Yeah. Look at Kit's, he's smiling. Okay, that's a hit and the four point. Enter, hit, and make a point. Those are always good shakes. Neil Kazros wants to ban doubles from the bar. Because it. Two. That's the only thing that can beat him, you know. You, somebody rolls doubles from the bar. Neil always has a better position than you do. But you can beat him if you can roll sets. O'Hagan might be moving into that camp after that double four Nazarian put on him this morning, huh? Well, yeah, well, he stole a couple from Dana before that. Pessimistic on this one. Uh-oh, this could be an important shake. Yeah, they, these two four from the bar. Here we go. Games had a familiar ring to them with uh, Dana being you know, back on that 24 point and Kit threatening to make the rack. Yeah. Um, but he turned it around last time. And now Kit's thinking again. Yeah, he's thinking, but I don't know. Does he have enough? You got sixes and threes and eights. Yeah, and sevens, I guess. But he's three away again. That's and he's got away. a lead. That, uh so you got to be a little careful, kid. You know Dana's going to take this. <laughs> yeah, sure. see, that's the thing. Yeah. And that's a that's a subtle amount of pressure that Dana puts on you uh, because you okay. can't. You He wouldn't have pushed him off that last cue. Oh, well, now I'm surprised. Dana hasn't snatched it this time. So he obviously oh, he will. something different this time. Uh, he is taking this one. I just thought he would take this, but I'm like. You guys have my personal guarantee because Matt's going to tell us that he would take it. But Matt's a taker. Oh, oh no! What really? Okay. What, what, what was going on there? Matt says double take in his yeah. opinion. I, I think he Once was, again, he Matt has gotten one. it right. Who was wrong by how much on that cue? <laughs> yeah. Well, Matt and I are simpatico. See that's that, and it's taken. We don't want to go there. It hit away from that three away score now. Now he's two away. Yeah, he's right. Well, I mean, how do you take advantage of the guy being three away? You take the cube, and that you guys might want to change the score. Well, maybe that's the what you do. You just you don't alter the go score. Go tell them to change the score, yeah, be Tara. Uh, yeah. Wow, what did Kit? Kit? Oh, it's Kit. Notice it. Okay. Okay. Or, he, or Tara yelled at him. <laughs> yeah, I, I I thought that was an easier take than the last one, which is the one that he snatched. Actually. Yeah, I mean, what the heck? Somebody said, of course, Missouri can take. I don't know. You can anyway. only use one five three. You don't want two in a row. Yeah. That's okay. I, I played okay. Not bad. The, the kick kick um kick take point in this now with with two away five away is really is is quite. Quite low, so Kit's gonna. Well, assuming taking... there's yeah no gammon and yeah that, that, that could make okay. But now it, this it, is uh make the five point. Um, he could also make two yeah. points, but yeah, he could have made the uh, four and the two if he wanted. But I think that looks nicer. Yeah, I think this is pretty solid. Well, what's Dana's cube strategy going to be that's like? He's five Matt, away. Matt said that a normal score, that's probably a drop. Or if Kit already owned his five point. Yes. But, but he would take it that score. Yeah. I, because I of the, the three away. Okay, here we go. Buckle up. Well, Kit's not taking this well, one. It's, it's a blitzy it's, it thing. It looks a little bit gammon. Although, you know what? This is uh He may not take it, but... I've I've taken worse. 
<laughs> I know. I, you, we find that hard to my believe. My fans <laughs> will find that hard to believe, but I have taken more. I've been learning lately so, that sometimes you get gammoned in these positions, and that's not so good. But, uh, you know, like, I'll say, how many guys does Dana have in the zone? But he's got 12. If, 12. And if you don't count the two that he's used to make the one point. But Kitts you know, significantly got the five point and the three point, so he can turn this game around pretty quick. You've got one on the bar. You've got. But look, if he passes, it's two oh, away, four away. Yeah. So there he went. He exactly. went and snapped it up. Exactly. Yeah, I think that was the big deal. It takes him, you give him the four away if you drive. Correct, yeah. That's why you, you, you are going to take deep. In the, so so you've got a choice here. So Did should hit? Dana hit yeah, or make the five point? Do you hit? John O'Hagan likes, one. look at Dana. He's doing it. He's the man. He is so aggressive. Yeah. That's a trick. <laughs> Kit yeah. wants a four for Christmas. Ooh, oh, oh, fee five fo. Well, that would have anchored up if he yeah. had made the five point. So that was a good shake. Matt and Craig Anderson both said they were passing at that. Uh, okay. Oh, is that Ooh, right? A dance. That's that's a big. Uh... Well, Kit, he he'll fly in the. I mean, he likes to do we things. We got another checker, way. another checker going up here. Now, yeah, the problem with the blitz positions <laughs> is you can get gammon, but then also you can turn them around and be. I hear oh, oh Whoa, no! Here. Hey, John, you remember this number? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. But this one doesn't point on on kid, also, you know. No, no. Not too much. No. Okay. So well, this one, yeah, it's not so excellent. Is he just bury the guy? I, the three? I don't know. I guess. I mean, the alternative is, oh, he can make the two point. Chat, though. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, he's going to leave a double shot and make the four point also, but the fours are. It's yucky, man. I mean. Is there any merit to playing to the... Look at this. See, there he's going to consider Is there any merit it. to playing to the bar and the, and the four, John? Well, yeah, that, that's possible. This is sort of the default. Yeah. All right. 11-3 well, seems clear to MCG. Bill, I'll tell you what. If somebody holds a gun to my head and says I got to make John O'Higgins play... <laughs> I'll be all right with it. <laughs> all right. All right, now Dana just wants some sets. Oh, there he gets to use that builder that John so cleverly placed on the three-point. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, John. Okay, here we go. That's the obvious six. Now the three. To the three point, I think. Eight numbers instead of two. I think sevens and yeah, you always want to make the safest play. <laughs> Actually, that is kind of a good place for a builder to. Yeah, that seems like six to threes. All right. Eight shots becomes three. We're halfway there if John recommends a play, and we're all the way there if uh, Matt. Agrees with him. <laughs> <laughs> Howie. Hi, Howard. I got to go and play a match. Oh, that's good. You, you can have you can have a, a real expert on the scene. Oh, you, you've gonna, got John behind me. You're gonna <laughs> give up your seat to O'Hagan? Well, you, yeah, you get a real expert now. Well, just, <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, thank, thank you, thank thanks, you, Jeff. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, match. Yeah, thank you. So, you want me to take over? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got to go a, play a, a match. You got a British accent. So. I'll uh, work on it. Yeah, you can put my shirt on. There. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So five one. Uh, Matt's never leave a right? Is that the camera or something? Or is both of those guys have a red nose? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the camera. All right. Uh, maybe it is, but. 
Yeah, yeah. they both have. Well, earlier, like, earlier, Dana had a red neck. I don't know what the. You know how you're a redneck? You know you're a redneck when. <laughs> well, that's not a very Your couch is on the porch. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I don't know. The, uh, your, your wife's pickup truck is nicer than yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, God, well, that fun stuff. All right. Run off both off the 21 here. Okay. Oh, really? I think so. Make the 18 and play 21-15, don't you? I don't know. Maybe I would run off the 18 point and sit there, but I guess that makes it easier. I mean, the me. race is pretty close, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm starting to see the merits of your move, John. You're <laughs> putting something in his face. Yeah, yeah. You kind of threaten that blot, and um, and if he gets hit, you got some, maybe some recourse. Yeah. For that guy. It's a subtle way of attacking the checker, or the blot on the ace point. Yeah, right. All yeah. right. And, uh, yeah, if you just play 18 to 9, you know, you only have indirect. Yeah, you're going to get fly shots. shots only, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks right to me, anyway. How about Mr. Ryle? So, what do you Well, think? if you do that, what? There's a little duplication of fours. Yeah, right. Right? right? right. So, uh, yeah, he can get it, can boomerang, but it's not that many. And plus, um, well, even no if you get hit, you you got a better chance at a direct mm -hmm. shot from the bar point, right? Yeah. Right. Well, I, I like it, John. He's got to clear those 60, three checkers back there. 84, 114. So he's got, if he makes, after the play, he's got 105. And Kit has, uh, oh, he does that. Well, that's the same kind of Matt says his first thought was John's play. Okay. Did he change over to Dana's? Now, this is Dimitri's play. I think we would just make the four point. Dan, the two six from the bar. Oh, that's pretty safe. Okay, yeah, that was a bad play I recommended. That's it right there. What's the race, though? So he's at down four and uh, eight. That's 12, 20. And your play would have worked like five. Yeah. Well, uh, he would have safety the lot with the one and with the four, he'd cover the ace. Yeah. Yeah. Dane is going to be down would, nine because I don't think he would have hit. Yeah. Yeah. Because he would be leaving a direct shot. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know about this. I mean, but I think Kit's up nine pips, and now Dane is going to come out and be down three, right? Two, four, six, 14, up one, down three. Yeah. Just uh, forget the slot, and I'm. So just, now he's down I'm, 10. I'm racing. Yeah. Man, these guys are good. Thank you, Mark Dunlop, and I happen to agree with you sitting between two great experts who are lending some uh, perspective and expertise to viewing audience. Well, I'm supplying the perspective. He's giving you the expertise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. All right. Okay. Who blinks first? Yeah. There we go. We played this game before. Boom. A neutral number. Okay. Now, does Kit leave a block? Boom. Oh, that's not a good shake. It's crunchy and it screws up your effective pip count this is where ray would ask uh dana uh, what's your favorite kind of peanut butter right <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. hit that. Whoa, here we go see oh just a dice rolling contest now. he didn't consider leaving the blot but it wouldn't have been any good anyway all right here we go it's now, ga there, the gap on the four point is going to decide this game in dana's favor i predict Good thing. Now I didn't like this. Why did he? I like wait the pit. 
That looks right. Yeah, I, don't know. I thought okay. it was right. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't like the gap either, but the saving the five is. Yeah, Kit's explaining to him why that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now, does he cover the four point by just playing six Slot to four? I think. I, I think he does. Yeah, he's he's got a two remaining. Yeah, because otherwise he's going to be there forever. Uh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And they're lining up. Stevie Sacks behind us now too. Yeah. Yeah, now we're really getting some expertise. You want me to leave? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is just nip and tuck here. Yeah. And Dana is still, he's a little down in the race, but Pip, Kit's gonna, got a lot of wastage. He says, I don't care. I'll just roll 6 4 all day. 12 checkers apiece. All right. So, I don't know. Yeah. Hit the high spot, high spots. Yeah. The roll that Things like that. It shows it. Oh. Ten apiece. Yeah. Oh, Dana's gonna. Oh, no, he's already doubled. So, I guess Dana Look probably here. hopes yeah. that he wins this game. <laughs> you, you reckon? <laughs> okay. And Kit's kind of rooting it the other way. Boom! Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> Ouch. Right now. Oh. 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 A herd of fives went by. <laughs> Just one more set of fives, Kit. Oh. Oh. Lost 13, it by that 12. much. Uh. <laughs> Y'all have both been in there with a little bit of an eruption out here. Can you hear that? Yes. You can hear that. You yeah. don't normally hear any of the. Did you like that when the Dana rolled the double four? And he I, the, I I heard a some reaction. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. Look at that! I I like that take by Kit. He didn't let him get to four away, mm. two away. Yeah. Yeah. And uh look yeah, right. right, Johnny. Come on in here. Three away, two away. Yeah, these guys probably don't know a lot about this score. <laughs> well, we could explain it to them. They usually don't see this score, right? They usually win by a lot. I'm pretty sure fifteen to two, you don't get much practice in these. <laughs> Okay, both uh, good shakes here. Yeah, he's got a million ways to make a good point here. Five, four. That's one of them. Yeah. B five four. They both got the five point. Yeah. Dana must be up. Not. Oh, this. Ooh. This four, is still a pretty good shake. Four and two or four and nine. You I wouldn't mean, throw it back. Hmm? I'm not sure. I I think I would have done the nine point. Yeah. Okay. Categories. I don't know that that's right. I know it's just yeah. my opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, good hit. That's a hit. Good three. Oh, Dana back fighting adversity again. Ace in and three. Three and five. Oh, he's going to come in there. That's yeah. interesting. Ooh, that's pretty big. I think Kit would like him to. I mean, if I were Kit, I would like him to come in there and let me yeah, just go I, to work. I, I, uh, I'm not too sure about this play either. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like a sandwich too, John? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your order. Sarah well, Rise. Dana, see, that was a trap, a, a clever trap that Dana laid. Let's see if he gets his three. Nope. Okay. Sarah Wise, you find Ooh. a local tournament by going to ChicagoPoint.com. Oh, Look Chicago at this shake. God, I'm not sure. Com. They have a I'll, calendar. I'll play it, though. One, two for sure. <laughs> Now, did he make the seven? I think he make the seven. Yeah, I think I, I think would. he make the seven. That way you have this. The, if he doesn't roll an ace, you can I think, cover. I think I might come or... out with one guy, make the four point, ah. and, ah. and make the five prime and leave. Uh -oh. oh, I would have got crushed, but this crushes you anyway. 
Yeah, I think at this score, he really wants the 18 point, though, for defense, you know. So that part. I don't know. If you got a five prime, that's pretty good defense. Yeah, that's true. The but, best uh, defense is a good offense, John. This is true. In this is true. In some cases. In some cases, yeah. But he didn't even consider that. And I mean, like, what? They're at three way, two way. They're playing in the U.S. Open. And uh, he didn't even, and he rolls a double sixes and he didn't consider all of his options for a very long time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you'll notice each of them are right around two minutes now. So if we go Bad to yet roll. another, if we go to Whoa. yet another game. Hey, John, what did he just roll? <laughs> and how does it play? Two six from the bar. I, I think I played, or I rolled that about five times against Ray and they were all good. Yeah, I noticed. I think Ray noticed too. <laughs> They're all good numbers. What are you guys talking about? This is oh, oh what's he gonna here do? Here we go. Make the four point, or do you hit? I don't know. The cube's still in the middle. This is ah. a uh, huge yeah. decision. It's a pretty strong play right here. I don't you could think, hit. I don't. Hope? I don't think you uh, give him that much opportunity on the other side. Well, he's got kind of a screwed up position. This might help him. I don't know. I could help him out in a way, but all right. Yeah, he, I hit him. He could always dance, you know? He's done that several uh, on this particular board. Okay, now he could Is go he with the go five the block loose? play. Yeah, I don't think he will at this score. I bet he'll make the 20. There's a couple 22. of different five block plays. There is a couple of different <laughs> yeah. five block plays. That's right. If I was going to do a five block play, I think I would hit off the three point. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. If if you would do that. But I think I would just make the uh, 22. 22 point. I think so too. Yeah. And this is, this is a match. This has been entertaining. Yeah. It's not over yet. If you think this is a good match, wait till you see the next one. Because the winner plays Ray, right? The winner plays Ray. <laughs> uh. The winner's in trouble. I got the news for you. All right, I would slot. Okay, John. Especially with the blot on the ace point over there. Yeah. Dana finds that play. He's only got a minute and 29 seconds. Kit's got 145. So they've they've used their time up. They got their money's worth out of this match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're Six, they got a ways okay. to go. Both off the Both twenty-two. Off. I yeah. think we'll let John get in here because he's got a lot of experience with these strip point games. <laughs> four five. Ooh, oh, four, is that five. Good? That's nice. Spanky. Okay, that's good hidden cover number. Ants. This okay, is okay. Does, does, does Dana get frisky here? A little Definitely. cube action. It doesn't have to be. This isn't particularly frisky. This is a good double. Yeah, the score. This is powerful. Now, ah, Kit might. If he could let this go and have fifty percent. So is. So let's see. That's going to factor in. That's that's there he did. Okay, so we're. Two away, two away. Yes. Effectively, DMP. What's your strategy at this score, John? Uh, Win. <laughs> you know, like most people, I double really early. All right. And what's your take point at this? Uh, well, it's according to XG, 32. Yeah, I got, I had my ex he says like thirty two and a half or something. Right? <laughs> okay, well, rounding. okay, there it is, last game. What he rolled a four one, Kit did, and Dana doubled that. Yeah. All right, I refuse to do that myself. Any other? Uh oh, two six from the bar. Two five. It's oh, two. double smacker. All right, Dana. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're rolling like champions. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect performance by each so far. Nichols. Ooh. Oh, my God. Enter. Make the three. And point on him. And gain 20 pips in the race. That's a pretty good shape. Yep. And slot your opponent's five point. Wow. Oh. 
Boom. Bad shot. I mean, so this is the most important game of the match, and they they both have a minute left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's see, 20 to 2 and 24-18 looks right to me. Hit and they both got 125, basically. Is that a 2-6 from the bar? No, it's a 6-1. Okay. Oh, he wasn't on the bar. And he wasn't on the bar. Uh, uh oh. 1-6. Probably cover, huh? Would he? Yeah, he could do that, and then you could kind of lure him off the five anchor. Although Dana won't give Robbie's that up easy. Yeah, yeah, that looks like. Hello, Felix. Better. Welcome to a great match here. 42. Four two. He hits, and Keep. he's got a two. Bring it down. There yeah. you go. Who cares? You don't care if you get gammon. You can play all kind of blots. Worked out well. Try to win. Uh, Dana like will point. die trying to win. Trust me. Okay, here we go. Boom. Dana wanted to make the five point, but he didn't. He did nothing. He Broke can play the state. Yeah, the just eight. the yeah. Uh, right. obvious play looks right wow, there. Wow, yeah. what a boring play. All right, 125. <laughs> <laughs> make that and slot the four. Hmm? Yeah. Probably, or 22 to 20. That's where those two. fixed six-point checkers belong. Yeah, the that's four true. Point. But near the end, twenty-two to twenty it makes it easier to get that spare out. I don't know how important that is. So. As long as it doesn't get pointed on, like with two-one, for instance. Yeah, that's he should true. make the five-point anyway. I think. Uh, don't give him the double shot. Yeah, give it to him and have both five points. They miss double shots sometimes. Ain't it like it? Ask Matt. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Thank Matt, you. we'll use our lifeline. What would Matt do? Yeah. I don't He's think low so. on time, so that's a reasonable play. I'm not sure what's right. 5-3 makes the one point. Huh? Yeah. Matt would go 11-7 there. 11-7. I don't know what that means. I'm just reading. Oh, okay. He would do what he did was come to the eleven point and the seven point. Yeah. So he, oh, okay. Dana, found Matt's play. What Dana did, yeah. That's what it's... Okay, just hit. Yeah. Look at Dana's always playing pure and. A little else for Dana to do there. Yeah. Nichols. Oh, that almost gets out, Kit. <laughs> <laughs> The wrong set to get out. Okay. Oh, look at this. He makes nine a point. nine point. Oh, my God. An outfield prime. Look now Dana is a big favorite to eat me for lunch in the next round. Yeah, can, you don't even need sauce with that. All right. Oh, he's got a five prime. Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? Ooh, this. Here? Well, he, 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 he. I don't know. Six to five to three hitting, or six four, and then you waste a one somewhere. You like to hit, huh, John? Well, I'm thinking about it. That's a pure play. Yeah, Matt and, and says, the question is how to hit. Matt says hit and lift. Uh, six five three, I guess. Huh? He's looking really low on time. He better hurry up. He decides to hit. Okay. Thirty seconds. Um, the party's over. Uh, there was no consensus. No. I don't know. That was reasonable. Uh, I don't know. I mean, oh look at that! Whoa. He's Whoa. prime. <laughs> yeah, but it weakens his his prime though. No, I think it's eight to four three times and then seven three. 
I don't know. Then he's got to clear those points later. Yeah. yeah. He's up in the race. Don't have to do anything beautiful. Oh, switch. 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 And Dana never moved again. <laughs> That's right. Boink. <laughs> <laughs> Five four uh -oh. that, that blocker is over there. Watch this chicken plate. Activate two six from the bar. <laughs> two one from the bar. Another dog. Oh. <laughs> Cancel the two six from the bar. Six six three or five four. Who said that? Seven six. Seven six. I think he's right. The target's the five point up. Mm. Oh, he's got to leave the show. Okay. This is a uh, this is awkward. I, I bet it's wrong. I hope it's he great that Rory his, showed up to I tell us all the right his, plays his so fast. Yeah, he does. Wow. 16 seconds. Yeah. Whoa. Five, three. Okay. Now he wishes he would have been in there. Look at this. B5-4. Get in hit. Ouch. A herd of fives went by. Oh, wow. Five hits. Yeah, and then lift. Oh, but I can't lift. <laughs> okay, Dana. Here's you would like a five here. Oh, wrong ten. That was the wrong ten. Oh, well, he can it. lift and cover. Lift and cover. That's oh, fine. There's the five yesterday. Rory got one wrong. That almost never happens. <laughs> Three one. Oh, juicy. Okay, make that the was five a, point. Oh, he ace. Six. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Takes away some picks and passes. You don't get one if you get pick and pass. All right, there we go. It's, at least it's not two six from the bar, right, Kit? Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Dana's gonna pull this one out. Yeah, watch this. Here he goes, and then they. Two six is going to be exposed on the very next shake. Two uh -oh. six hits. All right. You'll take black. Uh -oh. Oh, pass. Oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what hits here? <laughs> Five three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two one leaves the shot. Two one. Oh uh, no. Uh, Hurry, Dana. Run, Dana. Hurry. Run. Whoa, look at here. Oh. Run, Forrest. Sixteen seconds, is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Rest. Just wasn't a couple minutes ago. Sixteen seconds. That's real. Well, there was never a doubt about this match. Great match. Great match. Six two. I saw the six first. Uh oh. oh that'll do it. Rosie, Rosie is singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good match, Jana. Wow. Wow, that was entertaining. Yeah. But that's what you get at the U.S. Open. Jonah's running around celebrating behind there. He must have won here. Huh? Jonah must have heard it. Okay, thank you, folks, and I think. Uh, hey, thanks for letting me sit in with you. Bill. Thank you, Ray. Always a pleasure. All right, brother. And I think Jonah just perhaps won. Also, I saw him dancing a jig back there. 
Oh, okay. Four o'clock. Mm. Tar and I are seriously thinking about the steakhouse opens at 4.30, and we've been trying to get in there.